Thank you. Thank you. There's a lot of people here. Um, guys, welcome to the final show of 2008 for Studio A. We actually made it. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thanks. What? Wait, did you guys clap because we've got to the end of the season? Are you guys clapping because it's finally finished? Uh, I don't know. Oh, but um, now, guys, obviously the break is coming up. It's in December. We're looking down the barrel of you know a bit of summer fun and a bit of Christmas. You guys looking forward to the break? Yeah, awesome, good times. Now, I know for last Christmas I had a little bit of a break and I went on a bit of a travel. And now I recommend for anyone out there who is doing some travel or by any chance doesn't know what to buy someone, you know, for Christmas, that special someone. I actually got given this little bad boy, which is actually, I don't know if you can see it, the Australian Lonely Planet. Now, if anyone, I know most of you guys here are probably from Australia, but this bad boy is worth its weight in gold simply for the last couple of pages. Now. I do like this book as well because, I don't know if you know, but Lonely Planets are actually printed in Footscray, which is slightly ironic that a travel guide is booked, is made in a place that nobody wants to freaking travel to. But, uh, <laughs> but this is a humdinger, I can tell you. What's great about this, right, in the back of the Lonely Planet, there's actually this glossary of Australian English. And this actually teaches people from abroad what we talk like here in Australia. Now, this is all true. This is the opening paragraph of the glossary in the Lonely Planet. It says, if you want to pass for an Aussie, just try speaking slightly nasally, shortening any word of more than two syllables and then adding a vowel to the end of it, <laughs> making anything you can into a diminutive and peppering your speech with expletives. <laughs> this is trying to sell to people overseas to come here. They must just think once they hit the tarmac, we'll all be there just going, yeah, just going down to the pacey where me body's paying for me rego shit shit fuck ass. <laughs> Right. <laughs> just basically paints us like 20 million people who have Tourette's. <laughs> so that's great. And it's got all these different words that obviously Australians must just pepper through their conversation every day. You know, uh, things like uh, cobber and uh, cocky and this is a great one. Bastard. <laughs> this is the description from Lonely Planet. General form of address which can mean many things. From high praise or respect. He's the bravest bastard I know. <laughs> to dire insult, you bastard. <laughs> That's a pretty broad spectrum, to be honest with you. Like, I know that immigration has clamped down since 9-11, but no wonder we've got problem with people coming overseas just turning up and going, oh, hello, security, you bastard. <laughs> in the back room with you, champ. <laughs> Welcome to Australia, happy colonoscopy. Like, uh, uh, my mum's in the audience, come on. Um, but, uh, and there's all these other great words like, I never knew that if you put something into a past tense, it completely changes meaning. Things like here, root is to have sexual intercourse and rooted is tired and broken. <laughs> I suppose if you've been with an Australian male, that just about rings true. Uh, <laughs> look, seriously, Al, go put your backpack on. It says here, I root and then I'm rooted and tired and broken. Don't freaking try it again, all right? <laughs> Stop calling me bastard, get out of here. Uh, things like, I love this, use is the last word in here. Plural form of you, pronounced Y-O-O-Z-E. <laughs> used by the grammatically challenged. <laughs> According to that opening paragraph, we are the grammatically challenged. And this is the la I love this too, I never realised like the varied use of the word piss. There's piss means beer, piss turned piss up as boozy party, piss weak is no good gutless, pissed is drunk and pissed off is annoyed. <laughs> By all means, you can say, oh, yeah, I just went to a piss up, drunk some piss, got pissed, but it was piss week and I pissed off. <laughs> it's just it's crazy. And now, thank you. I didn't write it, Lonely Planet did. But um, now I'll leave you on this note, this is great. Now we think that Melbourne, we're the cultural epicentre of this country, by theory. Now here in Lonely Planet, this is the picture they've painted for us because obviously seeing the things that Melbourne has to offer, the MCG and whatnot, these are some things to look out for. You've got to look out for hook turns and gangland shootings. <laughs> We've all been there on Swanson Street just going, oh, I can't turn right. Oh, Mario Candelo shot my right knee. Uh, <laughs> could this day get any worse?